Hi there, I'm Jamie Anderson, and this is a video for beginning mandolin players. I'm going to teach you three chords that use only two fingers, a strum pattern, and a song that you can put it all together on. First, some terminology. Um, I'm going to be talking about the first set of strings, and that'll be the bottom set. Then the next set is the second, third, and then fourth. I'm going to use my index finger and my next finger. Those are the only two fingers that you need for these chords. So you're going to put your first finger on the second set of strings and the second fret, and then you're going to put your next finger on the bottom set of strings, the third fret, and that's a G chord. All right. Now take the same shape, move it up towards the ceiling to the third and second set of strings. Again, second and third fret, and that's a C chord. Now, you're going to move this index finger up to the top on the 2nd fret, and then take the 2nd finger down on the bottom set of strings, and that's a D. Now, one of the things that beginners have problems with is changing chords without stopping. So, here's how you remedy that. Play a G chord, one strum. Play a C chord, one strum. Play a D chord, one strum. And do that over and over again until everyone you live with moves out. Because <laughs> that's what it's like when you live with a musician, right? you got to practice. It's really, really important. So let's do that together, playing that sequence together. G, C, D. Again. G, C, D. One more time. All right, so that's your recording hand. Now, for the other hand, you're going to use a pick. Now, I use a guitar pick, which can also be used for mandolin. They also have smaller picks that are used specifically for mandolins. Whatever your preference, um, they all work, but a pick is important when you're playing the mandolin. Now, grasp the wider part of the pick with your thumb, and then use your index finger on the other side of it. And when you strum, make sure it's nice and smooth. You don't have to dig in very deep. Okay? I don't know what chord that is, I just made it up. <laughs> Let's try a G chord. All right. Now the strum pattern goes like this. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So play that with me. Ready, and. Down, down, up. I'm on a G chord. practice, the clearer it's going to be as you gain strength and flexibility in your fingers. Because there's nothing that we do in regular life where we walk down the street doing this, right? So you may be doing something your hands have never done before, but it is possible. I've been teaching since 2000, and all of my students who have the desire to learn and who practice learn what they want to learn. So you won't be the exception. Just keep at it. So now uh, that you've mastered that strum, we're going to change chords. We're going to change from G to C, one measure each. And one measure is down, down, up, down, down, up. Here we go. Ready, and G. Down, down, up, down, down, up, C.
Now these three chords and this strum can be used for a lot of songs. The strum can be used uh, for almost anything in 4-4 four, four time. Uh, those three chords can be used for a ton of songs. One of them is leaving on a jet plane. So I'm going to play that for you. You can play along if you want. I'll play it a little on the slow side, so maybe you can play along with me. Starts on a G chord. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. I'm standing here outside your door. I hate to wake you up to say.